Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I have my dog here just to say a quick hi to you guys. I know you guys really love seeing him. This is Harvey. He is a petite golden doodle. I know a lot of you guys always ask what kind of breed he is, but this is Harv. He is here once again. I know he's missed a few of my other videos recently, so I figured I would make up for it and put him in today's video. Once again, he says hi. Thank you so much for all the love for him. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the last makeup items that I'll be purchasing in 2019. So we are in the end of the year now. We're getting close to it anyways. And I actually was really select with this little mini haul I'm about to show you. Now, one thing that I really want to do moving forward into 2020, especially on my channel, is I really want to have a good balance of introducing new makeup into my collection, using existing makeup in my collection. I do think it is possible, and as you guys know, I'm a reviewer. I love sharing with you guys hits and misses, so primarily, I think, what I'm going to be doing is purchase select items that you guys really, really want to know about, and also like new formulas and things like that, of course, are fantastic items to test out, things from different brands entirely, etc. So I've really decided to be really selective, but of course I still want to provide the content that you want to see, so that's really important. So we're going to kind of do this balancing act a little bit together, but I do have five new products here. These are all new formulas at the minimum, and there are some new brands as well. So the very first item is a highlighter. And you guys, if you have seen one of my recent videos, I talk about highlighters and how a lot of us have so many. So this is one that I was excited to test out because it is a different formula from a different brand. So that way I can let you guys know if this one is worth adding to your collection or not. But this is the new one from Chantakai. This is the face powder. This I believe is their holiday highlighter. And the packaging here is stunning. This brand I've actually never tried anything from. It's really exciting. It does come with a really cool little pouch. It says Chantakai kind of in gold right here, but it is kind of like a soft satin kind of uh, pouch that you get the highlighter in. And then when you open it up, let's see here. Oh, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> so this is the highlighter here, you guys. It does have some gorgeous gold flecks as well as like some blushy kind of purple slash beigey undertone to the background of this. It does have like reflective gold packaging. It just says face powder here. The one thing I love about Chantakai is that they are super, super expensive, but they are cruelty free. They are certified cruelty free. This highlighter will be good for 24 months. That's good, that's good to know. I'm always noting that stuff now, especially because makeup expires, guys, let's be real. <laughs> we do have Chantakai kind of in the edge of the little packaging here. And when you open it up, it just lifts from the bottom. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is actually a fairly light pigment and it has C kind of embossed right into the packaging. This I think is a gorgeous looking color and I'm gonna take a swatch of this too, just so we can kind of see, oh my goodness, it is so soft. Interesting, this is just, I thought this was a highlight you guys, it's really not. <laughs> see, this is what I'm saying. This is just a face powder. And as you can see, like that's kind of the swatch on my hand. It's just like a light color here. It's really creamy. Like when you swatch it, it's really beautiful and creamy. So I like that feeling. To be honest, I think I ordered this one by mistake. I was really wanting the gold highlight. And now that I see it, I think this is definitely the wrong purchase. I don't think this is even a highlight. I think the highlight I was after was more of the gold highlight. I think this is like totally the wrong item actually. So I'm just checking the Chantakai website. It definitely says I ordered the wrong thing. <laughs> so I'm like, shoot, this is the holiday 2019 Eclat dough, which is the like powder balm kind of powder for the holiday, like super gorgeous, of course, but I meant to get the highlighter. Oh, dang it. The highlighter is called Eclat Brilliant. Definitely still a really beautiful product, so I can't wait to test it out, but I was meaning to get the highlighter to test it because it really caught my attention. But looking at the picture, I'm like, hmm, maybe it would have been a little bit too dark for me because it's kind of like a deeper gold. So if you've tested it out, let me know down below your thoughts. Okay, so the next item is from Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know this is one of my favorite brands. And this is actually the Mini Miracle Eye Wand. 
And this is a new product from her line. So I was really excited to test it out and like purchase it and just see how it looks under the eye. This essentially gives me like YSL Touche Clock kind of vibes. So I will see if this is the same. Visibly brush away bags and dark circles in just two clicks. So you have the cream, there's a cream side and then a brightener side. So that's really interesting. This is the packaging here. On camera, it's going to really wash out and look kind of white, but this is actually a slight pink. It's more so a white pink and it does have rose gold kind of accents to it. On the back of it, it does have like kind of which side is which, which is really nice. So the first one says lift under eye cream. So you do have to put the under eye cream on this side first. It says step one. And then when you flip it over, we have the illuminate side, the eye brightener on the other side. So this is actually a click mechanism as well. Obviously you're gonna have to click it quite a few times to get the product in there, but yeah, this is really exciting. So like I said, definitely YSL Touche Clock kind of vibes. I will let you know what I think of this. Really, really excited. The shade that I picked up is number three. Okay, now the next thing is actually from Gucci. This of course is a very luxury brand name and I personally am unfamiliar with their makeup like entirely. I do have a Gucci bag in my collection that I do treasure and I think it's one of my uh, favorite purchases of this year, but this is actually a lipstick that has just been released to Sephora US. Right now it has not been released to Sephora Canada yet, hopefully really, really soon. This is the Gucci Satin Lipstick and there's quite a few lines in Gucci right now on Sephora. I believe there's three different lip colors in there, uh, lip lines, sorry. This one is the Rouge à Livre Satin. So this one is a satin finish and the shade that I picked up is number 200 Blaze of Moon. This, you guys, is definitely a rosewood color. Color. I know that that's kind of what I thought of online. This is definitely a wearable color for me. The packaging is so stunning you guys Definitely a nice gold um, Very heavy weighty kind of material. It's definitely luxury feeling. It has this really cool like design on it I don't know. It's interesting like it just looks really unique and it's kind of Gucci-esque to be honest because when I think of their fashion they do have a lot of interesting prints and designs on their bags and on their fashion so yeah very, very interesting. When you roll it up, you do have the lipstick here. It does say Gucci into the lipstick itself, so it's been stamped into it, which again, a nice touch. Definitely something with this luxury kind of price tag. You're gonna want to see all this stuff like fulfilled with that kind of a price tag on a makeup item. So this is really beautiful. I'm gonna swatch it as well, just so you guys can see what that looks like here. Ooh, that's really pretty, you guys. Very smooth and definitely a satin finish. This is the shade that I picked up. So it does have a nice bit of a sheen to it. I really, really like it. This is, again, a true rosewood color. So Blaze of Moon is really beautiful. Can't wait to test it out, let you guys know what I think. We do have one more lip color in this little mini haul here, and this is from Chanel. I've been hearing some really good things about this particular item from them. And this is the La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue um, Ultra Wear Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade 57 Dark. And this is the packaging here. This is a classic Chanel packaging. They very rarely waver off of this outer packaging. It's just classic to them with like the gold accents and the black and white, just simplistic outer packaging. But this says Chanel kind of on one side and then it has the liquid lip color on the other side. And this is definitely more of like a light candy pink. Um, Darling Pink is one of their permanent shades, I believe. They have recently reformulated this lipstick as well to a new formula. I, I didn't actually try the old one, but this one looks really promising. Dual ended as well, like I said. So the first side, we have the brush, which is like a classic doe foot on the um, liquid lip color part. And then you can, if you want, you don't have to, but you can top it off with the gloss. There's a gloss on the other side. Not gonna see if you can see that there. There we go. Just if you want to add that little bit of glossiness to the finished look. I'm going to swatch this one as well. I'm gonna do it beside the Gucci one just so we can see a bit of a difference. This is really nice, you guys, really lightweight. I feel like it's not super stiff. So you can shear it out if you want or you can build it up. This is the color, also gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. There you go. So the Gucci one's on the left, the Chanel on the right. Really stunning, you guys. This like candy pink is gonna be gorgeous for every day. Really love this. So I will let you guys know what I think of this formula as well, but this is so, so pretty. Like I'm obsessed with it. Really, really nice. 
Now this last item I'm super excited about, this is a bronzer from a brand new brand and this is called Westman Atelier. I know very little about this brand, you guys, so if you know anything about this brand, please let me know down below. All I know is that it was created from a makeup artist named Gucci Westman. I only heard about this because this was actually a brand that Jennifer Aniston endorsed. I think she's worked with Jennifer Aniston before and I'm a huge Friends fan, so I kind of just like latched on and was like, oh, that's kind of interesting to see. I'm going to check that out. So I don't know exactly how new this line is, but I don't think it's been around for more than a couple of years, but let me know down below. It's called Coupe de Soleil. This is gorgeous outer packaging as well. And then this, you guys, is so cool. I haven't seen this yet in a kind of outer kind of shell packaging for this. This is what the bronzer sits in. My light is really going to make this look a little bit more like bright and washed out, but this is a kind of whitey, very light pink, white, like leather pouch, but the leather is super soft. I do see a lot of luxury makeup items and how they're packaged. And this to me is a whole new level. So very, very impressive. And then when you open it up, when you slide the bronzer out, this is really cool too. The bronzer is kind of like a gold orb. <laughs> so take a look at that. That is so, so pretty. Really, really nice. Of course, you can see my lights through and everything. It's incredibly reflective, but it says Westman Atelier on the top here. And then this is the bronzer. It does have a bit of a plastic covering. And this is the bronzer on the inside. It has hearts that are embossed right into it. So they're stamped right into the packaging. This is also a clean beauty brand and a cruelty free beauty brand. So that's awesome. And yeah, it's really, really cool. There's a tiny little mirror in here. And I'm going to be honest with you, the size of this bronzer, I think would just fit my bronzer brush that I typically love to use, which is my Marc Jacobs, the bronze brush. Love that one. The mirror is just a little bit too small for like an everyday use kind of thing. Definitely just like a touch up kind of idea, I think would be perfect for this type of mirror, but really, really nice. And the one thing that I will say about this brand is that this is like one of the very few, I think this might be the only powdered product in her line. There's a lot of cream-based products, like cream-based blushes. Uh, there's a liquid foundation in there and it just got released, I think relatively recently on Holt Renfrew, which is a Canadian like luxury department store. So I was able to check it out. That looks so nice. That's two layers. So this guy is pigmented <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm using my brush very lightly handed, of course, but this is gorgeous. Like this is definitely a beautiful, it's like a bit of a cool tone bronzer, really nice. Thank you so, so much for watching. What do you think of all of these new makeup items I'm about to test out for you? And until my next one, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great but somewhere there's a light inside of us It shows the way